In this tutorial, we're going to go through the process of building Linux kernel and U-boot from source. To get started, we're going to download the sources for the Linux kernel using git clone, https, github.com, slash critical, slash snickerdoodlelinux.git. The repository is a little over a gigabyte, so it can take quite a while to download depending on your internet speed. After the source has been downloaded, we need to enter the directory using cd, and we're going to check out our stable kernel source release using git checkout sdlinux slash 3.14, which will check out our kernel 3.14 source. And while that's checking out, I'm going to explain something about the environment and some of the variables here. You'll see a very commonly used set of variables, arch equals arm, or cross compile equals ARM, Xilinx, et cetera, et cetera, uh, throughout the build process. Those can be exported to the environment and thus used by Make while that's building Linux and U-Boot. Uh, I'm gonna explicitly declare each of those variables during each build step so that it's obvious which parameters are being used for each step along the way. That being said, let's continue to configure and build our Linux kernel source. So we need to configure our source using make arch equals arm is our first environmental variable there. Sync snickerdoodle def config to specify our snickerdoodle default configuration. And you can see the dot config file was written. Now we're gonna specify scripts as our next target. We're gonna use arch equals arm, cross compile equals arm, xilinx, linux, gnu, abi, and scripts, which is gonna build our device tree compiler and a few other script utilities. Now we're gonna enter our scripts directory and the device tree compiler directory. We're gonna add that to our path variable, which is gonna allow it to be used by make when we build our U-boot source. Now we're gonna download our U-boot source tree using git clone https github.com slash critical slash snickerdoodle uboot dot git. And same as the kernel source, we're gonna have to configure it. We're gonna enter the directory here and we're gonna configure it using our default configuration, specifying arch equals arm, zinc, snickerdoodle, config. And you can see the config was written. And now we're gonna build U-Boot using our cross compilation tool chain, ARM, Xilinx, Linux, GNU, EABI. And no target is necessary to be specified. And now that U-Boot has been compiled, we're gonna enter our tools directory where you can see make image utility here and we're going to export this path to the path variable using the same method we used before. This will allow make image to be called from make while we're building our kernel source, which will allow the kernel image to be wrapped in a U-boot header so it can be booted. Now we're back in the snickerdoodle Linux directory and we can build our Linux kernel using arch equals arm cross compile and our cross compile toolchain. We're going to specify a load address for U-boot as hex 8000 and U image is our target. By specifying U image, we're telling make to use the make image utility that we just built in the previous step to wrap the generated kernel image in a U boot header when it's finished. And you can see our image has been generated at arch arm boot U image. which we will use to copy to our boot partition when we're ready. Now we're gonna build our modules using arch arm cross compile arm xilinx linux gnu abi. 
and we're going to specify modules as our target now. And now that our modules have been built, we can install them into our root file system after we load our SD card onto the host machine. So we're going to load our SD card. You can see our boot and root file system partitions. So we're going to use mount to determine exactly where our partitions have been mounted on our system. You can see we have media slash snickerdoodle slash boot for our boot partition and slash root fs for our root file system. Now we're going to install our modules using that root file system directory specified as install mod path media snickerdoodle root fs. And our target's going to be modules install. And this is going to require root level permissions to write to the SD card, so we're going to need sudo and then re-enter the command. Enter our password. And we can see the install messages telling us it successfully installed the modules. And now we're going to copy our U image from arch arm boot as we saw before. We're going to copy that into media snickerdoodle boot, which is where our boot partition has been mounted under our local host machine. And now we can eject our SD card and mount it onto the snickerdoodle. So we're going to insert our SD card into the captive card cage. And we're going to lock it down by sliding it closed. And we're going to connect our USB power and console. We're going to use Minicom in this example for our terminal. And you can see Snickerdoodle booting up. And you'll be able to see our newly built kernel successfully booting with Ubuntu.